Good morning. It's Friday, January 27th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Strangers Among Us, and our scriptures from Job. My servants and maids consider me a stranger. I'm like a foreigner to them. I was a father to the poor and assisted strangers who needed help. I've never turned away a stranger, but have opened my doors to everyone. As the ancient Job found out, you can go from hero to zero in an afternoon. It's somewhat like that in ministry, moving from church to church, always a new town. There's an old joke ministers' families know too well. There was a knock on the parsonage door and a child answered. The caller asked the child, are your parents home? The child replied, Pa's in his study praying, and Mom's upstairs packing. When the bishop's cabinet is busy making appointments for the coming year, ministerial families take out the checklist on what definitely needs to be packed and that which is to be discarded to make moving lighter and easier. Old Job learned what Methodist clergy live. Part of that life is being a stranger. Moving off into a new place brings out the stranger syndrome. You've just spent several years in one place, and now you're uprooted. All the daily activities and routines must be rethought. School, dentists, doctors, grocery stores, traffic patterns, re-registering to vote, forwarding addresses filed, new telephone numbers, and on and on. And for good measure, there's a whole plateful of new names to go with new faces. Put them together, preacher. And it all hinges on where the bishop decides to send you next. Job's take on strangers had to have changed dramatically. That day, his wealth, health, family, and community reputation were drained to the dust. Suddenly, his awareness of what it means to lose everything and gain a personal and incisive understanding of how strangers are sometimes, oftentimes, despised. All Job's neighbors, fellow city officials, and even friends were wondering just what really bad, awful thing he had done to tick God off that much. And yet, Job hadn't done anything wrong. His head was spinning. He'd been appointed to his next and most dreaded chapter in life, Suffering Stranger. If your life has ever been in Job's kind of shambles, you probably thank God for the Catherine Micklers in the places you wander. Well, you probably don't know Catherine, but she's one of God's blessings to the strangers. In 1990, our little tribe packed and moved to Jacksonville, Florida to begin serving with the new church. Catherine was one of our members. About four weeks into this new relationship, Catherine made an appointment with the church secretary to come to my office. When she came through the door that morning, she was carrying a box just a little larger than a loaf of bread. She placed it on my desk with a smile and said, Just a little something to welcome you to our community. Hope you like it. When I opened the box, there was Emmett Kelly Jr., the praying clown. Catherine said, I have a little jewelry store and I carry these for sale. I heard you say in your sermon last week that your parents took you to the circus back in the 50s and you saw Emmett Kelly in person. I just thought you ought to have him here. That kindness, Catherine's welcoming the stranger, has stayed close to my heart these past 30 years. The praying clown is still on my desk and I'm reminded every day what it's like to be a stranger and welcomed like family. For you today, strangers tend to keep a low profile. Sometimes you gotta look hard, listen well, and be ready to be the blessing someone else needs. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.